Hey guys, so this is going to be a bit of a dive in with Hamish session. I currently have two processes running. I have one, uh, not client, sorry, Rue code with the latest Gemini model, the one that they released yesterday. And I have Claude desktop running. They're using pretty much the same MCPs, slightly different MCPs, but I basically have these two instances running, okay? And both of them have context seven, and both of them have a new and improved prompt where effectively, hopefully anyway, it will just create the entire project for me. So the way that this works, and I, I basically I'm doing a test to see what's better, like what's the best setup here. Is it RuCode with Gemini 2.5 or is it Claude Desktop? The key, in my opinion, is Context 7. This is like the key to everything. By the way, if you were looking to just dive straight into AI code, I definitely recommend the school community. This course right here, uh, AI Dev with Claude um, app or Claude Desktop. I'm trying to just make this as simple as possible so that you can just literally jump into vibe coding as soon as possible. So definitely check out the school uh, community if you want to support me or if you just want a little bit more help, it'll be the first link in the description of this video. But basically, yeah, I want to see what is actually better. So let's kind of keep an eye on both of these at the same time. So what what Rue is currently doing with Gemini 2.5, and honestly, my money is on Rue right now um, with the latest version of um, Gemini 2.5. But it seems very, very strong. But one thing that I'm struggling with right now is Context 7. Um, and I think I might have just cracked it right now. Let me just quickly check if I've just cracked it. Yes, I actually have just cracked it. So I've basically introduced this part of the prompt. Now, this is prompt wizardry, okay, guys? It's really high-level stuff, but if you write things in capital letters, it means the AI knows that you mean it, right? Very, very high-level stuff, okay? But what it was doing was it was reading context 7, but then it was making its own assumptions based off of what it already had in its head. And the way that I know that is because it kept trying to run MPX ShadCN UI latest in it. And it kept saying that the ShadCN UI package is depreciated. So what I did was I actually went on Context 7 and I looked and I was like, is Context 7 wrong? Right? So I went on ShadCN here, clicked on here, and I searched specifically for this, which is the incorrect uh, way, right? because there's a dash UI and you can see it's actually correct here. It's NPX shad CN at latest in it, which it says right here, this is how to do it. So it kept getting this wrong. And I was just thinking to myself, if it gets that wrong, what else does it get wrong? Right? Like what it was doing was it was reading context seven, but not really taking it into consideration. Right? So I've come up with this new system for Rue and also for Claude. I'm testing out both at the same time, as you can see here. What it, what it basically does is it creates design.md and research stack.md. And then hopefully, I'm hoping that this time when I run this on Roo, it's going to use the correct ShadCN at latest uh, package, right? Instead of the depreciated one, which kept failing. So as long as it sticks now to reach research stack.md, this, this is honestly going to change things for me. Yeah, it's sufficient. Just get on with it. I don't care. Like, it's great. It's beautiful. It's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Get on with it. Okay, so now it's going to switch to code. And as long as it keeps these two files in mind, which should now be actual Context 7 regurgitated information, I think we're onto a winner here. I will still check out Claude. I, I do want to see how they both do, to be honest with you. But, you know, I'm not sure. Desktop Commander does seem basically like it's turning um, Claude into Klein, which is good for sure, because there were certain things that the file system one couldn't do. It couldn't um, create Next.js projects, for example. So this should have actually created an official, it should have run NPX, you know, whatever. So let's just search for this. Okay. Uh, so let's just see if it actually made Rolls-Royce was at 17395. Basically in the prompt it says make a random num put a random number after the name. Okay, so this is actually officially running as well. They're, they're now both running, which is which is nice. Okay, so it, it actually worked. It gave me the correct command for the first time ever. 
which is crazy. Does it tell me that I need to pick neutral? Uh, I, I have no idea what any of this means. It looks like you're using React 19. Am I not using the latest version of Next.js though? Okay, anyway, Rue is officially going away and coding, so it'll be pretty exciting to see how that does. Claude's been been on it, to be honest with you. It seems like it's almost done. But the really cool thing here is the is the use of the Context 7, but in the correct way, right? So previously I was using it, it, it was reading it, but not reading it. But now it seems like it's actually with that um, shouting at it, basically. So look, again, npx shout cn at latest in it. You guys might not be able to see that, but um, it's the same thing, right? So I think I might have actually just cracked um, context seven. I will give you guys the prompt, of course, in the description, whether you're a member of the school or not. People say that I've gone into a paid thing. I haven't. Everything is still available on the channel completely for free. It's just as a way to either support me or to get extra help or just have weekly meetings with me, which is what we've been doing. You know, you can join the, you're, you're, you're welcome to join the school, but you don't need to, right? I'll literally always be putting um, everything for free in the description of the video. I'll actually, I'll make the document right now, right? The docs.new prompt, uh, new, Prompt for vibe coding a um, rag um, context seven directory or whatever, and then there's the prompt. Um, you can literally ugh, why does it not wait? It's, one sec. So the way this works is I, I try to make universal prompts. I should actually just be able to copy this. So I'm, I make universal prompts, right? So you should just be able to change uh, what system you're on, the business, the locations that you're trying to rank in, the services, the service description, where your images are. So I just put like a random folder here with, that has images, uh, which it then moved over to the project and then the languages that you want to uh, rank for basically. So yeah, as usual, I have no idea what to call this video, whether this is me fixing Context 7 or this is me testing con uh, Claude versus Gemini. I'm kind of doing both at the same time here. I, f I, th I feel like I've fixed Context 7. What was happening, this happens all the time with AI. You guys need to be extremely aware of this. Is like, you can give whatever you want to AI, right? But the way that the prompt interprets what you're giving it is actually the important thing. It's not... The important thing isn't just giving it to the prompt, it's it making sure that it interprets what you're giving it, right? It's like, it's really hard to think of analogies. I need to stop trying to think of analogies for things. This is the best analogy I can come up with. It's like you speak another language, you speak 50% of that language, right? You're missing out on 50% of what people are actually saying because you're not able to see the undertones. It's the same thing here. You're saying to, uh, you know, Klein or whatever, okay, use Context 7 MCP to make sure you're coding properly. But what you're not saying is how to use it, right? Because it might, it's, might not be obvious. So how to use it is to read it and then find specific code snippets for what you're trying to implement and put that into a research document and then put the design into a design document and then use these as reference points to then code the entire website, right? So this is, you know, it might not seem groundbreaking or whatever. This is the first time I've kind of done this style of um, of site before. Wait, I need to say I'm on Windows. Yep, dash. So that didn't work. Um, this is just copying images over. This is just kind of a lazy thing on my end. I could very easily just um, pull them over and put them in. I might actually just do that because otherwise it's going to, I'm just going to do that. This is just a lazy thing for me. Like I could have easily just done this before. So public, um, let's add another thing called images and then we'll just grab the images for it just to save it the nightmare of trying to do it itself. Let's just paste these in and we'll say I've added them here. I added the images here for Yamai. 
this uh, this mate here very very I, you know I wouldn't I wouldn't go into this with you guys it's too complicated it's it's wizard prompting you wouldn't understand okay so that should be approaching some kind of completion both of them should be approaching some kind of completion right now I'm pretty excited to be honest with you this is not only a new way of creating these websites it's also hopefully going to be error free because there's no more bullshit with the context 7 mtp because i actually told it this is how i want you to use it okay claude be doing some weird shit sometimes it where did it get this unsplash image from that is, what where did you get that picture from that is literally naples oh it's not is it is that Naples or is it like Sorrento or something? It's not Sorrento. Actually, I'm pretty sure that is Sorrento. I'm pretty sure I've been there. I've eaten in this place here. Anyway, doesn't matter. But where did it get that image from, more importantly? Bruh. <laughs> Claude be doing some weird things sometimes. Like, Harbour does some crazy stuff that we never asked it to or programmed it to sometimes. Overall, like, from what I'm seeing with... Um, Gemini 2.5 inside Rue, I'm much preferring its approach and the w the way that it's using the research document and stuff. You can see every single time it's using, um, it's reading that file, etc. I'm hoping that Claude is doing the same thing natively, but we, we shall see. Okay, so now we're just adding some uh, Shad CN uh, stuff. I still don't really understand how I'm using React 19 and how that's even a thing please comment if you if you know what the hell's going on there or where claude got these images from uh because they're both very confusing to me so i i tend to not go on feelings much and i try and wait for the results but i have a really good feeling about this new setup with the research.md and the design.md and the way that it's approaching this is the most intelligent that i've ever seen I feel like this would be the same on Klein. I am just using Rue um, normal mode where it switches between architect and code. I'm not actually using Boomerang or anything just because it didn't really seem necessary for this test. But yeah, it really feels like it's it's got a very, very good grasp and very good understanding and very good checkpoints and very good like, oh, this won't work because of this, so I need to implement this. This is really, really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, so we have our first completion, which is actually Claude. I'm not surprised by that. Claude with, with, just flies through this kind of stuff. Now, I just need to find where the hell this is, because... Uh, oh, it was in Incom. Yeah, I found it before. So it should be... Oh, yeah, it's right here. Okay. Is this everything? Doesn't seem like enough. Oh, yeah, okay. We've got everything here. So what we'll do is we'll go here. We'll right-click here. And we'll go to Show More Options, Open with Code. And then we'll go to terminal, new terminal. I'm going to be very judgmental on this if it doesn't work and the other one does. So npm run install, or if neither of them work, I'll be very upset. Um, npm install, sorry. So we'll run npm install. That will install all of the packages that, that are needed. Okay, didn't work. So npm install dash dash force. This is something that happens quite a lot. It's not necessarily recommended to run dash dash force. I have no idea. Uh, okay, that will install, it looks like. How's this getting on? Spent three bucks so far. That's pretty crazy. Okay, and then we do npm run dev, and we see what has been built. And if there's any errors, straight away there's an error, it looks like. It looks like uh, the internationalization is not going to work. Very, very disappointed, Claude. Very disappointed. <clears throat> Cannot find global.css. That seems pretty crazy. Loads of errors here. What the... That's very, very disappointing, considering you were supposed to do a lot of research on Context 7 beforehand. Okay. Okay, I mean, it looks like they, they might be easy fixes. We'll just, we'll let it run. And then we also have a completion right here. So we'll do npm install here. We will cancel this one for now. And then we'll do npm run dev here. Let's see. I really don't think there are going to be many errors here. Okay. 
I've got loads of errors, of course. Bit of a botched uh, header, not a difficult fix. Um, I'm surprised that this is so little detail. Sorry if you can hear someone screaming outside, it's just a kid, um, my neighbor's kid. Okay, the language switcher works. The um, dark and light thing that I didn't ask it to build works. A lot of pages of poor foring, et cetera. Um, yeah, again, a little bit disappointed, I'm not going to lie. This keeps having these errors. I don't know what these errors are caused by, but that is a lot of errors. Let's just feed all of these. And you get one more chance to fix all of these. Am I in the right directory? 7391. Yep, 7391. Okay, and then we'll see if this has fixed. Oh, it's still going. Okay, so overall, like in terms of a fully functioning website, I have to give it to Gemini 2.5 Pro. Now it's missing a few things. It hasn't actually created the service pages, the location pages, the about us pages, contact us pages. This is something that does happen. It just kind of builds the, uh, like all of the technical stuff. That's fine to me, as long as you build something that works. Like I can vibe code the rest of this very easily, like just sending things like create these pages. So I've just created the structure for the localized homepage and its design. I haven't created the actual files yet. So what I said was just, you know, build the rest of these pages out so we can see what the website looks like. That's fine to me. What's not fine to me is Claude, which has is, is just gone on an absolute mad one and doesn't seem to want to even nearly work. This is the most errors I've seen in a, in a while. It's very frustrating because normally when I do this, it works pretty well. Um, yeah, I mean, this is this is a crazy amount of errors. I haven't seen this in a while. So yeah, it's it's a strange one, guys. It's definitely a strange one. I feel like MCPs inside Claude aren't used as well or something, or like they, it doesn't listen to its own advice, I guess. I don't, I don't really know what the issue is. I've coded a lot with Claude Desktop recently, and I actually find having no MCPs to be better than, than having MCPs, which is definitely a strange one. Um, the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to... I'm just going to cancel this real quick. I'm just going to say, can you work on the home page and make it as detailed as possible? So like overall, I definitely feel like we've solved something here with Context 7 because there were huge problems with Context 7. It wasn't actually passing on the information properly. So, I mean, this video is worth it just for that. You can see that there are no errors pretty much here. There were a couple of errors before, but to only have to fix one set of errors once is pretty nice, to be honest with you. And you can see here, these pages now exist. It still needs to create the other pages. Locations pages exist. The individual pages also need creating. But like, it's pretty much there and everything is actually functioning, which is much better than whatever, whatever Claude is doing. So my takeaway from this is if used properly, Context 7, Roo, and Gemini 2.5 are possibly the best stack right now. It's hard to say because like even this makes the same mistake over and over and over. But yeah, I'll leave the video there, guys. I know my stack keeps changing, but honestly, it's, it's hard enough for me to keep up with things, let alone keeping you guys up with things as well. I'm just showing you what I think is good. Currently, I think the new Gemini 2.5 Pro model is worth using. Um, so I'd probably use Roo just because, uh, by the way, the reason I'm using Roo is because it actually has the new model. The thing with Klein is it does have the new model as well, but, um, people don't believe me when I say that it's, um, automatically redirected. You don't actually have to set the new model. So the reason I'm using Roo is so no one can comment saying that I'm using the wrong model. I'll leave the video there, guys. The new model versus Anthropic versus, um, Claude versus Roo versus Klein debate is getting pretty crazy right now. I do understand that. I'm just trying to build the best possible system and then bring that to you guys. I would say Claude is better for no code. If you don't know what you're doing, this is better if you have some understanding of what you're doing. I'm gonna leave the video there guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you were watching all the way to the end of the video, then I hope this helps and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. And also if you're an absolute legend, if you're still here, peace out.